Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, exciting uh, week ahead, uh, heading to a tough place to play in uh, uh, Morgantown to play West Virginia. Um, and I know the guys are excited. We'll get into our real first uh, heavy practice day. We had a short practice yesterday. Uh, looking back at the film from Saturday, uh, a lot of the things happened that we needed to have happen to be successful. Uh, at Baylor, it's kind of the, what we had hoped for, planned for. That was the game plan, is to hold on to the football. Uh, we had it for 37 plus minutes, um, be productive in the red zone. I think we had four or five touchdowns in the red zone, and then uh, find ways to get off the field on defense. Uh, there's going to be some third down stops. There's going to be some fourth down stops. Uh, and uh, if we could do those things, uh, we could keep that offense, which I think is a terrific offense uh, on the sideline. And we were able to do that. And I'm just proud of the guys' uh, resolve, effort, uh, great focus throughout the week. And um, that, was a, that was a big win uh, on the road against a, a really, really talented team uh, in Baylor. And uh, got to move forward this week. Um, many of you guys know uh, that uh, we lost Kobe Savage uh, for the year. He'll be out for the year. It's, it's uh, really tough because Kobe was playing such great football for us, and he was devastated. But uh, we'll lose him for the year. Um, and uh, that's disappointing. Um, with regards to Adrian, he is not out for the season. I, I, I had heard that that was out there, but that's not the case. He is not available this week. He, he will not be um, playing this week, but um, he's not out for the season. So um, Will's going to be uh, the guy. It's his football team, and uh, excited for Will. Uh, everybody knows Will's playing at a really high level. Uh, he gets to play back closer to home, and uh, – um, you know, Jaron and Jake Rubley will will be the backup um, uh, to Will this week. But uh, uh, excited about the challenge we have. Did West Virginia add a new layer of preparation with the, the quarterback switch because it did change their offense? Yeah, it uh, it definitely does. Um, you know, there I I think some of the plays may may be the same, but there's a lot more quarterback run read or element to it. Um, it didn't look like it was the greatest of conditions down there uh, with the rain, so I, it was hard to tell. You know, did uh, both teams try to run the ball a lot more because it was more difficult to throw? I watched a little bit of it on the in the hotel room, but it, and it looked bad. But uh, um, absolutely, uh, I, we envisioned both kids probably playing. Is this kind of a cliche case of. A wounded animal. They're at home. They're defending their place, and they've done it pretty well this season. Well, boy, they've played really well at home. They've beaten Oklahoma. They've beaten Baylor. I thought they gave T TCU a, a great run. Um, I thought I, I know. I, I'm happy for Neil. That was a big win um, last week uh, for for him and the program. Uh, they're still chasing bowl eligibility, and uh, they'll be ready to play. It's Senior Day. They've got a lot of great seniors. I've got so much respect for for Neil Brown and, and what he does and how he does it. Um, they'll they'll be ready to play. This is going to be, a, as we talk every week, it's going to be a four quarter great Big Twelve game. Is that West Virginia win kind of a blessing? Because I know you guys do a good job focusing week to week, but you can't miss this one out. Yeah, I, you know, um, I think they were going to be ready to play no matter what. Uh, because of uh, character uh, of and toughness of Neil Brown coach teams, but um, without question, they, they've got a lot to play for, and uh, um, we have a lot to play for. So uh, it's going to be the same thing: who, who can make the fewest mistakes and and uh, play a clean game. The plan for going on without Kobe is that just inserting T.J. Smith, or do you experiment? And yeah, some we'll move some team? guys around. We saw us do that a little bit on Saturday as well. Um, sincere who started his career as a strong safety will move over there uh, and, and play a lot more. And then we're working through some of the other things this week. But uh, uh, you, saw, you guys saw that a little bit on Saturday uh, with Sincere playing. Um, we're still going to need multiple guys to play. TJ's going to need to play. VJ Payne's going to need to play. Um, we just we've got a we've got another spot now that we don't have uh, an experienced guy. So uh, something that we're going to work through this week. You mentioned you know they kind of moved Khalid Duke down you know on the line a little bit on Saturday. Is some of that kind of being able to do that because of Desmond Purnell coming along? Um, you know, not not because of that. It's uh, just something that we thought was going to be very effective against the style of offense that we faced. It's a different style of offense this week, so it may not fit the game plan. But the style of offense that we were going to face last week with Baylor 
we thought it gave us the best opportunity to be successful. And it just so happened that when Khalid was in the game, that that's what we did. Um, and uh, you know, I, we we weren't we didn't play that many plays, so he could play a decent amount. I don't know if that's be a part of the game plan this week. Mm. How much of a difference is it for your defense, kind of being able to play man so much on the outside with the corners that you do have? Uh, yeah, uh, we've been playing more man. Uh, we need to mix in probably a, a little bit more zone. Uh, but, uh, you know, having those guys that are experienced guys out there, I, I know helps. This is a really talented group of wide receivers uh, that um, I, I think is one of the best collective groups, uh, so they'll have their hands full. How much of a soothing presence is just the experience that Daniel Green gives you? Um, it was just good to see him back healthy. Uh, this is Last week was his first full week of practice, I, I know, since South Dakota. And uh, to see him feeling good, um, running around, directing traffic, uh, it, uh, it really helps us. I know Nick Allen played a lot, uh, and he's going to continue to play a lot. Um, you know, and, and Austin's playing really well. But uh, just to have your, your captain out there uh, at, uh, at Mike Linebacker and, and him feeling good and him, him being out there, it just – it's just Nick Allen's been such a warrior for us in the amount of plays and practice reps he's gotten. Um, it's great to have Deuce out there giving Nick a break too in practice and, and having your, your, your captain on the field. West Virginia defense has had its struggles. I think they're 101st in total defense. But that front three and the throw in the band, yeah. front four has like 70 starts. So your offensive line has got to be on top of things. Yeah, um, they – they don't want to allow you to rush the football. And I thought they played Oklahoma really well and did a nice job in, in the run game. And, and you're right, uh, I, I think their front seven uh, does a tremendous job of, of being disruptive um, and not staying on blocks. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a, a big effort by our guys up front and tight ends and stuff to see uh, how we can crack those guys in the run game. In regards to Adrian, would he be – potentially available to return for the bowl game or before that? Um, there's a chance before that. And uh, with with Will, this is going to be the first week, I think, that he goes into a game knowing way in advance he's absolutely yeah. going to start. How much differently does that change things for him, for you, for anybody? I don't think it changes at all. Um, you know, probably a few more practice reps, uh, but he's taken so many practice reps that – and, you know, he, he's – a young player, but he's played a lot of games. Um, I don't think he goes about it any differently. I don't think his preparation is any 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 different at all. Um, you know, the fact that uh, he knows he's he's going to be the starter and start the game before twelve minutes before kickoff um, might give him peace of mind. <laughs> uh, but uh, um, no, I don't think it'll change his preparation. Not, not that's the thing that's impressed me so much about Will is. You know the entire season, how he's gone about his business and and gotten himself prepared to play, whether he was going to or not. I also wanted to ask about uh, Deuce Vaughn. You've been using him more as a receiver lately, and mm -hmm. last week you did actually some pretty creative things, getting the ball to him in the flats. Why was that such an effective game plan? And I mean, obviously he's good out there, but what makes Deuce such an elusive player? Um, other than to say it was what Baylor was giving us, that's as far as I'm going to go with it. Okay, because it was just something that we saw that they were giving us. And so we took advantage of it by getting him out on the flat. But that's something you'd like to keep doing. If well, possible? it depends. It, it, it I, and we've had this conversation before. Um, how are people playing him in the past game? You know, some people double him in the past game, and it doesn't allow him to be a threat. And some people don't. Um, and um, we had some situations where we thought we had him one on one, and it's a tough matchup for a linebacker. And uh, they had a couple times I thought Baylor did a great job covering him in the flat and making some really good tackles on him. They did a phenomenal job a few times, uh, but we still like we'll take our chances on that. So um, you know, we're still what are, what the coverage is is where the quarterback's eyes are going to dictate where he where he's going. And there was a, a few in cases last Saturday.